Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles, and I've got another clutch to show off. Uh, and, hey, my shorts dry fast, because we filmed this right after the last one, and it no longer looks like I pissed myself, so that's a winner. Now, there are certain things that when you hatch, just look gorgeous. So I always want to make them because they look cool, uh, even though the value may not be super high. And that is these guys right here. Of course, once upon a time, and you can see why, this was a $10,000 animal that now is you know, can be had for a lot less. I don't want to say price because it changes so much. And you can see these came out weighing about 64 grams. So what are we looking at here? A banana, right? A banana ball python. But it's really not maybe just a banana. And maybe it is a banana. And I honestly don't know. And I won't know. And whoever buys it may find out because of the fact that this is a possible het clown 50 percent chance of being het clown uh wait yes yes 50 percent chance of being het clown and i believe 50 percent chance of being het caramel so it's a possible het for both um you know because we produced those caramel clowns on accident not realizing that our male was possible so we can't use our male to breed to our clown females you guys had a tournament and made me use my pastel lesser desert ghost cryptic on a GHI Mojave. Thanks for that, by the way. I did not want to overtax him, so I burned one of my head clown females I'm just making bananas this year. Yeah. So anyway, this is what this is. Banana possible head clown, possible head caramel. I think these things are gorgeous, just beautiful, beautiful creatures. So uh, they, I have already checked all three. Bananas are male. After showing that last clutch, I want to show you I can sex a male on occasion. I have not checked the two non-visuals, or three non-visuals. Was there four of these? I don't even remember now. See, male. So there's one, one little male. Stay there. Oh, this is my favorite one of the whole group, and that's just because he has a little paradox spot. If you look on his face really close, I mean, it's small. It's nothing too impressive, but it is most certainly there. You're going to have to go back in here. You're just all over the mark, all over the map. Uh, right there on the side of his face and right there on the nose. So that's the only paradox on him. Nothing too crazy, uh, but really cool. Nice orange spot on top of the head. Really cool colors on this one. I mean, if I was going to purchase one, hint, hint, Patreon. By the way, if you're not on Patreon, check it out. Give it a thought. It's worth it on the community. Also, like and subscribe because, after all, who else is showing you lots of snake penises, right? Snake penis! So like and subscribe to see more snake penis. Um, and maybe I'll pee my pants again. Probably not. Let me put that one back into the little male. Now, since it's a male maker, odds are that all the bananas, and there are four of them, are male. And all of these guys have a good chance of being female. There's only two of them. The way our year's been running, we are due to hit a, a bunch of males. So I wouldn't care if these are all males. And again, this is just a poshet clown, poshet caramel. So otherwise normal appearing. Get in there. Get in there. Looks like a female. So we did have one female. Let's see if we got two females. I'll make ID in these guys real easy. And again, we're all in the 60 gram mark, right around in there. So big, nice, healthy babies. If I had to weight them right out of the egg, they'd have probably been closer to like 70 grams because they have a lot of liquid weight in there. Again, looks like another female. Yep. So just like you'd expect, the two normals were females. These two bananas will also both be male. I did sex all the bananas before, so I ain't going to waste my time. Uh, and then another orange spot on the head. And they're just so variable. When you start looking at these bananas, they don't all look the same. Those two are pretty similar. We put up to my one I really like. And look at the difference in color. And now some people say, oh, there's another gene here, another gene there. There's not. There's just variations in the morph itself and what the base of it is. So they're not all going to look the same. So sometimes like people get confused. They'll see this slight difference. Like, oh, this has got to be a banana this, and this has got to be a banana that. The shit's just bananas, guys. It's just bananas. Shit is bananas. Like, the shit is bananas. A little no doubt for you. Uh, anyway, 
that's really all I've got on these. Just a nice little clutch. And again, sometimes when you're breeding, it is okay to not make 45 gene animals. Yes, I know. On the last clutch, we're like, this is a this, 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 this. And everything was a, it was a combo except for one. There's a lot of three genes in there, maybe a four gene in there. And the next clutch I'm going to pull out is even worse, as far or better, depending on how you look at it. But it's okay to make these. As a matter of fact, your business probably needs things like this because the average person isn't going to go, you know, the first time snake buyer at a show, drop five, six, seven hundred dollars on some crazy snake or a thousand dollars or a couple thousand dollars. Will they drop a couple hundred bucks on a banana? Hell yeah, they will. So you need these because that becomes a customer today. And if they get into it and really like it, guess what they're buying from you next year? Right? Now they're buying. Okay, you guys are going to run all over the place. I'm in the middle of my rant and I can't track you guys down and rant at the same time. Now they're going to become those customers buying those $500,000 snakes. So it's really important to have some things on every level, I think. Uh, unless you're going to go the John Dog route and specialize like in Exant, it can work just Exant, it can be that guy. Which if you're going to do that, awesome. If you found a niche, go for it. There's people that have done it with Clown, people that have done it with Pied. You can do it that way too. But unless you're going to be that guy for that gene that everybody goes to for that gene, then you need to have variety, right? Nobody, I love pepperoni pizza. It's my favorite pizza. I love pepperoni pizza, right? But sometimes I want a little sausage. Sometimes I want a, no, I don't ever want a fucking veggie pizza. But sometimes I want something different than just straight pepperoni. It's okay to have some variety. Have some variety in your collection. Have some variety in your breeding plans. Because I guarantee you, these bananas still stop people walking by the table every day of the week, all the time. I don't have to go to shows that often anymore, but I, I promise you they do. It'll never change with the new people coming in, seeing that snake, because it blows their mind. Same with the pied, same with the bell. Those certain iconic snakes will be mind-boggling. I have people all the time when they come to the facility for the first time that maybe they know somebody, they don't really aren't into snakes, and they're just like, oh, yeah, I want to check it out, and I'll show them something as simple as a pied. And I say simple because to you and me, a pied is pretty simple, right? And they go, oh, my God, I didn't know a snake could look like that. Every time! Every freaking time! So I'm telling you, you want that variety on your table. We're going to have other clutches like this that are just single-gene pied or single-gene recessive. There's a reason why we do it, y'all. Kurt, any questions? No. All right, we're going to slide over to Patreon. And I'm going to tell you on Patreon, well, I guess I told you when I'd buy. Uh, we're going to talk on Patreon about some of the things and why I'm not keeping any of these. Why all of these are going to go to Patreon. All of them. And what they don't buy is going to go elsewhere. Because I don't want a single one of these damn things. And I have a very valid reason why. All right, we will catch you guys next time.